Hello everyone. What I'm telling you is another um, pneumatic actuator or air cylinder. This is smaller. The overall length is about five inches or four seven eighths from end to end. The uh, the piston diameter is 516 and it's got a 18 threads per inch standard for 516 it's including the connectors cop uh, copper connectors the body is aluminum and the ends with the connectors go is uh, copper also I will include the three hex screws for mounting this way um, the connectors like you know those little piece of hose for testing but I definitely don't want to let them there um, the trouble well the model is uh, is made by the folks of tiny Tim and uh, the model the part number is e ETF three quarter by one and a half. The 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 uh, diameter is uh, one inch square in both ends. The trouble I check and it's about one inch three eighths. Let's apply air to make sure it's working. In the other end, the other end. Out, out. The other end in. And you know, you apply less air. Is the is moving slower. So you have to. Okay. Uh, it's in really good condition. It's removed from automation equipment. Um, and well, it's gonna be eight ninety nine, eight ninety nine, and six dollars shipping in the small flat gray box, USPS, priority mail, small flat gray box, six dollars only. It's almost, it's just almost the cost of the, the shipping because it's going to be close to a pound package or more than a pound when it's packed uh, pack it. so $8.99 and $6 for shipping um, what you see is what you got the screws and the linear actuator pneumatic linear actuator made by Tiny Tim thank you for watching and I would take some picture as well.